what's up, Kelly Gang? All right, so we got this object that is in simple harmonic motion, and it has this period, its amplitude, and it basically it's saying um, that at time equal to zero, so here we go, we have an equation, or we have this graph here that looks like it's time, and there's its exposition. And it says at time zero, its uh, object is instantaneously at rest. So if something is instantaneously at rest, that means its velocity is equal to zero at that point. If its velocity is equal to zero, the slope of the line is going to be zero at that point. So we can say that it's going to start at uh, six centimeters, which is what it also says. So it starts at six centimeters, and its velocity is zero. So you can kind of see that it's going to have this cosine function. So what that's saying basically is there's going to be no uh, displacement at the starting point. So it wants us to find the time it takes the object to go from six centimeters to negative 1.5 centimeters. So as you see, it's going to kind of go in this sine fun or this what cosine function down. And then its position is going to hit negative 1.5 centimeters. And our goal is to find how long it takes for it to kind of hit that point. I kind of mislabeled this, but it's kind of that whole time, basically. So what's that time going to be, right? How are we going to do this mathematically? Let's figure it out. So you can't really just do what you think you'd want to do. Maybe just divide it, divide, you know, 0 0.3 divided by 4, because it doesn't quite work like that with wave functions. So instead, what you need to do is you have to find this function. So our function is um, x of t which is saying its vertical position as a function of time, right? So if its time changes, its vertical position changes. And our equation for this is something that you should know if you're doing simple harmonic motion, is the amplitude times cosine of the angular frequency times t, angular velocity times t, right? Okay, so we have its amplitude, uh, but we don't have this angular velocity, so how are we gonna find that? Well, what are we gonna do? is, uh, yes, angular frequency. I don't know why I'm saying no angular velocity. I'm in the wrong motion. But anyway, uh, we have an equation for this. So w is equal to two pi times the uh, frequency. So we don't have the frequency, but we have the period. And we know that frequency is the inverse of period. So frequency is one over t. So we can rewrite this equation as w is equal to two pi times one over t. And then we have all this stuff. So, W is going to be equal to 2 pi, and then our t value is what we were given. This is uh, 1 over 0 0.3. And if you solve this, you're going to get 6.67 pi radians a second. So we have that. How are we going to so how are we going to move on from here? Well, we have this equation. So let's plug in all the numbers that we know for this. I'm going to keep everything in centimeters just because it's going to work out fine like that. So we have that x in terms of t is equal to six centimeters times cosine from this equation, because we have a and we have w, 6.67 pi times t. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to find how long it takes for, um, for its position to go from six centimeters, which is its starting point, to uh, negative 1.5 centimeters. So x of t is gonna be negative 1.5, that's its position. And then we have all these other knowns, and we're just trying to find t. So we can basically go over here. I'm going to just start solving it. So we're going to have the equation negative 1, 1. 1.5 is equal to 6 cosine 6.67 pi t. So what we have to do is we have to just kind of unravel this equation to get t by itself. So we're going to divide it by 6 on both sides. So it's going to be negative 1.5 divided by 6 is equal to cosine 6.67 pi t. Right? Okay, so now we're going to take the inverse cosine of this. So cosine inverse of negative 1.5 divided by 6 is equal to, and then the inverse cosine of this side is just going to be, the, the inside of it is a 6.67 pi t. Um, so then what you're going to want to find uh, is then you're going to have to divide by 6.67 pi just to get t by itself, right? So cosine negative 1 of negative 1.5 over 6, that's a 6 divided by 6.67 pi is equal to t. So then if you plug this in, you're gonna get t by itself. t is equal to 0 0.0870 seconds. So that's the time, basically. And that kind of makes sense, right? Because we know it's amplitude, or we know it's period, which is the time it takes to go from here to here is 0 0.3 seconds. So, and then this is 0 0.08, it's about a fourth. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, right? Kind of calculates out. So yeah, that's how you solve this kind of equation. This is a very, very good formula to know, or a very good uh, equation to know. 
and just all these other equations of stuff that you can maybe look up every once in a while, but just good stuff to know. So yeah, good luck on your uh, physics homework, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, yeah, thanks for the support. See you in the next video.